Here at Texas Football Today, we are a program that talks about football. Sure. This is not that. <laughs> Pickle, let's... And, uh, we're so excited. <laughs> Pickle, let's go to the hotline. Uh, we are so pleased to be joined by a gentleman named Perry James. Perry James is the uh, owner and proprietor of a AFoolsErrand.com, uh, Fools with a Z, uh, and he is the world's foremost chocolate milk expert and sommelier. Uh, Perry, thanks for joining us. Hey, Greg. Pleasure to be on the show. Uh, thanks, thanks for taking some time. I have a million questions, but, <laughs> but my, my first, and I'm sure you, you hear that a lot, but my first question is, um, so chocolate milk, huh? Like, how did, you, how did you find yourself getting into the world where you became uh, a guy traveling the world trying chocolate milk? It, well, it's quite, kind of a long story, but I'll try to give you the best, uh, the best shortened version possible. I've always liked it for sure. Um, but a, a while back, uh, my, my wife and I decided we'd save our money for as long as we could, quit our jobs, sell all of our stuff, and travel for as long as we could. Mm. And uh, so, we, you know, it's obviously in the, in the pre-COVID era. So we, were, we traveled for about a year and still had money left over and made it two years just trying to travel in the world. And I was always drawn to like the dairy case for whatever reason. We'd go to Norway and I would want to see what they got for chocolate milk. I'd pick up a bunch and just drink them. Uh, a few months into that, I just um, I said, you know, why, why don't I start taking pictures of this stuff and documenting it? I know there's a bunch back home in the States. So I don't know. So I just started you know, writing reviews and taking pictures and translating all the stuff. And after about 500 of those, I figured, I don't think anyone else is doing this. I'm going to call myself, I guess, the world's foremost chocolate milk <laughs> expert until, you know, proven otherwise. And, you know, 500, 1,000, 1,500 later. And, uh, you know, we're at 16 something now. So just going strong. Well, and I, yeah, I'm looking at your website. It says 1,573 chocolate milks reviewed. Um, yep. Okie dokie. Uh, and, and, and from all across the, the, the world and, and in watching, you know, I found your stuff on, on YouTube, which is really where, you know, I, I came to, to be familiar with your work. And it strikes me, you know, one of the things that really drew me to your content, you're very clearly passionate about chocolate milk. Like this is something that like this isn't a this seems like it's not a job for you. It, 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 it's a hot. Is it fair to say that that this is just something that you really enjoy and you found a way to just kind of make a little uh, niche for yourself? You know, that's a good question. And, and yeah, it, it sort of began as a, as a pastime, became like a passion, became obsession and, you know, have that kind of a sort of completionist sort of a drive, I guess, sometimes. And it sounds lame. I swear to God, I'm like a normal guy. Otherwise, <laughs> it's hard to, you know, it's hard to, to, to make that claim when, when this stuff's out there. But it's just, you know, I just think niche is the way to go. I mean, go an inch wide and a mile deep. And, and you know, you guys with, with Texas football, I know it seems like, there's so much content to cover, but to, to anyone else, is like, wow, that's 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 pretty niche, and I think that's the way to go. Uh, and we're talking with Perry James, uh, the, the world's foremost chocolate milk expert here on Texas football today. Get involved in the conversation in the hashtag TF today. Uh, something I was thinking about last night when I was when I, when I was coming up with questions for you. Uh, this is going to sound strange. Do you like milk? Like because <laughs> chocolate milk and is a very different, different thing from yeah. milk. Uh, is it just chocolate milk, or do you like strawberry milk, or what, what's the deal here? I, yeah, I like all flavored milks for sure, but there, you know, I just I got to make a cutoff at some point, or else I'm just gonna kind of <laughs> overdo it. I'm gonna be honest with you; those might disappoint some people. I'm not a big fan of just regular milk flavor, whatever that is. You know, I have it in my cereal, I have it in my coffee, but just by itself. And, and I've, over the years of you know, some of these farmers forced me to drink it. You know, oh, here's this stuff right out of the cow. You know, have at it. I'm like, oh my god. But you know what? It's for me. It's kind of chocolate or chocolate adjacent, like cookies and cream or chocolate mint or something like that. That's in scope. But all the other flavors, sadly, I, I do try them a lot, but I don't review them. Well, and and draw them. one of the things that I that I really appreciate about your 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 content is it, it strikes me that one of the things you really seem to enjoy about this is going to these dairies and and talking with the people who are making it that, that this is this is really how much of the enjoyment uh how much of the enjoyment of this whole project comes from just meeting people out there who are who are making this type of product yeah it's a good point and that's that's something that was unexpected along the way you know at first i'm just going oh, i just want to chasing the flavor i want to find the best one but you know at some point like the people you meet and the, the situations you run into and some of the hospitality you receive and some of the conversations you have that's really what's kind of the gold at the end of the day i i, I do try to mention that on, on some of the videos and stuff like that and it certainly helps I, that doesn't necessarily help the the score or the review if i had a good connection with a person you know it, it, it hurts it, 
it always sucks to call someone's baby ugly. Uh, I've had to do that a few times, but I don't take pleasure in that. But in general, yeah, you're right, man. If if that comes through in the videos, then then I'm I'm, I'm very happy with that. So I was telling Tepper yesterday, I was like, man, I feel like, like I know a lot about chocolate milk, you know, like compared to an average person. I was like, this guy is making me look like an absolute rookie. So like from a person <laughs> at home that doesn't get to go try all of these different chocolate milks, I'm curious, what milk makes the best chocolate, like whole milk, 2%, what are, what milk do you think makes the best? Oh yeah. I mean, it's, it's whole or go home pretty much. I mean, I do review them all, but not just the, you know, the whole that you see at the supermarket is is capped at 3.250000% fat, which, you know, there's, as it comes out of the cow, it could be up to 4.8%. Mm-hmm. So they, they take that and dairy fat's very valuable. So they'll allocate it towards higher margin items like yogurt or ice cream. So, but when you go to like a, a local dairy and you get like a, <clears throat> a non-homogenized or cream line milk, mm-hmm. That doesn't have it skimmed off the top, so it's a higher fat content, and you get that kind of more of that buttery cream flavor. I know it sounds super lame, but uh, but it's really there. It's you know I could point some out to you in, in your local area. I think that might that might do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll take any suggestions. Yeah. But the other question sure. I have for you here is, um, like, say, do you ever just make chocolate milk at home, like yourself? And if you do, like, is is dry powder like illegal? Like, is it <laughs> heavy Hershey <laughs> syrup? Like, what do we need to do at home to experience yeah. like the greatness? Okay, so I I think you got to start with the base, right? It's uh, it's you start with a good like non-homogenized, ideally cream line milk and if you're a powder or syrup person i'm probably not going to convert a person one way or the other i did just recently do a video a nesquik video mm-hmm. and reviewed the syrup versus powder i grew up on powder uh it has cachet to me but if i'm if i'm honest i think the syrup is a little bit of a better play hmm. because if you over mix if you put too much syrup in you don't really pay a price on the texture side it's still going to be smooth and drinkable if you put too much powder in there you know it might hit you right in that uh the Kermit the Frog, the uvula <laughs> thing, and, and make you cough a little bit. So um, I, I, there's some good chocolate powders out there. Coco Metro just came out with one that's super good. Uh, a lot, uh, Definitely an upgrade over your typical Nesquik. But, yeah, you can, you can mix your own for sure. A lot of people do that. Perry James here uh, talking chocolate milk here on, on our show and uh, very excited to have you. Now, I, I don't I don't want to blow up your spot. I don't want to you know to have to reveal everything, but like there's no way this is your straight job, right? Like you've got to have a th- th- there's got to be another way to or, or are you making a living going around the world talking chocolate milk? Oh, absolutely not. No, there, I get zero <laughs> compensation. I get the occasional free chocolate milk here. And I, and I'm, I actually I'd rather pay for it. I'd rather pay twice for it. But uh, no, for the, for the period of time we were traveling, you know, we'd, uh, on our, once our money ran out, you know, mm-hmm. I was back to looking for a regular job and, you know, as luck would have it with, uh, you know, two and a half years gap on your resume, so to speak, and, and you're off doing chocolate milk videos. Uh, that's not the most, uh, it doesn't have the most cachet with, with hiring managers. So it, it took me <laughs> probably another year to find a job. Fortunately, my wife is uh, a lot smarter and more employable than I am. So, um, I do have a, a real job now for sure, so that's why I only crank out about one video per month, but we're still on the grind all the time. We can work remotely and we travel a lot and still hit up all the as many dairies as we can, so there's there's no end in sight. Is is your wife into chocolate milk as well? Is this or or does she <laughs> think you're you're a psychopath? Yeah, yeah, I mean she has been by proxy, so she's probably had the second most. I force her to try you know, the really good ones and the really bad ones I have her try. Um so she's had quite a few, but she's a, a super gamer in terms of like, hey, let's let's drive 11 hours to get this one crap chocolate milk, you know, on the weekend or something like that. Uh, she's always been very helpful with that. And just having like a, oddly enough, having like a female presence sometimes when I show up to some of these places, mm. there's a lot less skepticism involved. You know, some of the, some of these dairies you show up to don't have a storefront and maybe they don't want you there. Maybe they're skeptical of like, who are you part of PETA or something like that. Uh, but she's always a, a softening influence on that when we show up to places uh, unannounced. All right, so let's talk about the product here because uh, on, on your website, a foolsaron.com with a Z, fool with a Z, mm-hmm. um, you've got you've got more than fifteen hundred, uh, nearly sixteen hundred chocolate milks ranked. So so let's start with this. Where because you've also got an, a, a map that would make uh, a very you have a lot of friends around here in in, in our part of the nerd world uh, with your map. Uh, so where is this? Where is the center of the chocolate uh, chocolate milk universe right now? Where is it? Where is the center of the of the chocolate milk world? Oh, the absolute center is Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. 
Uh, it's uh, it's Amish country. There's a lot of Amish Mennonite farms out there. I, I I don't know if it's the proximity to Hershey, you know, Hershey, Pennsylvania, and that which which has I guess the, is the chocolate influence. But there's so many independent local small dairy farms in Pennsylvania and into New York State uh, that just kind of blows away any other state, and it's it's mind boggling. And they're not all easy to find. Not all online. Uh, there's probably lots more out there that I, that I don't know about, but. That's I, that. That's what I'd say be ground zero for sure. And then you know when you go and you you try a chocolate milk, and, and I've watched a lot of your videos, so I've I've seen a, a fair amount of your your process. But but what are you, as far as a, a, a an elite chocolate milk, like the one that that that's going to stick with you, that's going to get close to a ten on on a foolsarin dot com. What are you looking for uh, when it comes to that? What what are the what are the the characteristics of a of a prize winning chocolate milk? Yeah, for me, it's um, <clears throat> to some extent simplicity. Uh, you know, chocolate milk should have three ingredients. So when one does and it's really, really good, uh, that that just feels right. Um, my taste preferences have changed over, you know, just like anything. Like if you have uh, a thousand hamburgers or something like that, the first few, your, your, your taste library and of experiences is going to be a lot less extensive than your thousandth one so it has changed over the years and i one of the things i one of the hallmarks i like is that is a, a like a grassy flavor to the cream which is weird if you haven't had it but it's kind of like the difference between grass-fed beef and corn-fed beef if you've ever had that there's like a i don't know if it's like a gaminess or that kind of a barnyard sort of flavor some people say i really enjoy that it just adds dimensionality that's not otherwise there and feels like it gives you a better connection to the product and stuff uh, and finally, um, uh, you know, we, of course, are, are based here in Texas. And, and I, I noticed on your map you've, you've bounced around Texas a little bit, um, you know, not as much as, I mean, you've been living in Pennsylvania, basically. Um, but but as far as Texas chocolate milk is concerned, I don't want to put you on the spot here if you can't remember, but is there one or two that we should be on the lookout for here in the state of Texas that would be worth going out of our way uh, to find? Absolutely. So there are there are a few. Uh, I just recently had some. A friend of mine just swung through Texas and coming through uh, I-20, picked up a bunch and then dropped it off here in North Carolina. So it was uh, really nice to have have some folks doing that. But um, and I haven't had all of them, so I can't speak to some of the ones that I haven't been to. But uh, I'd say that, you know, something like um, Volumens is really quite good. And you'll notice it's in a glass bottle. It's out of Gustine, Texas, mm -hmm. um, depending on where you are. It's kind of central, uh, sort of between Dallas and Austin. And uh, that's one that's quite good. It's not, it is homogenized. So I think there's still room for improvement there, but it does have a nice cocoa flavor. It looks gorgeous and, uh, and does drink very nicely. Uh, also, like if you're into like a darker, like legit dark chocolate flavor, the Waldo Way is one, but it's a raw chocolate milk, which is not legal in every state. So uh -huh. it's unpasteurized, you know, it's just as it is out of the cow, but they have like a proprietary dark chocolate syrup that's been passed down for a hundred years through their family. Uh, it's thinner than usual because it doesn't have like cornstarch and all that other stuff in it. Uh, it's a very unique taste, but it was kind of a, it was a kind of a good experience. And I think that's in um, there's one in Tyler mm -hmm. and one, one in Mineola, I think. Okay, yeah, out in East Texas. Yeah. Um, okay, this uh, I, okay this is for my edification only as somebody who's, who's watched a lot of your content. I'm, I'm a huge fan, as you can probably tell. Uh, you wear a lot of hats in your in your game in, in your uh, in your in your, uh, in your videos. I've seen a Phillies hat. I've seen a Royals hat. Do you have a Do you have an affiliation? Do you have a like Do you have a team, or is it just like I like I like hats? Okay, so that's a great question and, and very <laughs> observant. And sometimes I do feel like uh, contra not controversial there, but um, I grew up a Phillies fan. I grew up in in Southern Maine, and our AAA team was the Maine Phillies. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I've always been a Phillies fan, did live in Philadelphia for a while, too. Um, I'm also a Philadelphia sports fan. So, Ooh, buddy. Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> we're based, but, we're based so on a big Dallas Eagles fan, but I, my, my heart was with Andy Reid. So now I'm like a Chiefs fan <laughs> sort of, because I love Andy Reid. And uh, I also lived in Kansas City um, mm -hmm. for a while. So hence became, you know, the Royals hat used to be very innocuous because nobody's afraid of a Royals fan. No one's going to hate on you for wearing a Royals hat. But they, they pulled out a, an amazing World Series a few years ago, too. So uh, I'm still just kind of, a, yeah, Royals in the AL and, uh, and Phillies in the NL. Okay. Good. Uh, that answers my question. Uh, he's Perry James. You can find uh, uh, the, I mean this sincerely, probably the most impressive database 
of, of uh, maybe anything I've ever seen. If you go to a fool's a, a comprehensive ranking of more than 1500 chocolate milks across, uh, uh, not only in America, but across 51 countries. Uh, it's a fool's with a Z, uh, Perry James, PJ, appreciate your time, man. Thank you so much for, for fielding a, a weird email from an, from an internet show about <laughs> we football so in excited. Texas. Uh, we were so thrilled to have you on and, and we look forward to seeing what you have next. Oh, awesome. Thanks so much for the opportunity, Greg and Ashley. Very much appreciate it. And uh, again, I'll take a look at what you guys are doing, but it, it's niche also, and I very much respect that. So just you know, Glad stay it. on the grind. Man, you and me, we're, we're, we're <laughs> blood brothers. Appreciate you, my friend. Take care. <laughs> there he goes. Perry James of a fools, Aaron.com fools with a Z A F O O L Z E R R A N D.com. It is, it is the, have you browsed through the website? Oh yeah. The website's nuts. Like it I can't is. like, like, well, and and, here- and, 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 and uh, part of the reason he kind of hit on it there i think part of the reason i like it is he's like niche and he's is, passionate he's about niche it niche and he's passionate about it he's got his one corner of the world that he's like i want to be the f- the best in that mm-hmm. and isn't that us that's literally <laughs> what we do here like we are and i'd love that he he definitely did some research on that and like recognized that we are cut from the same cloth yeah. of like it's the same thing we talk about over and over again with this job of like we could go out and cover the Cowboys like media's all across the state do or we can be we can go the, to Mineola as you mentioned yeah you know exactly I mean? like um, that's it's, so cool and and uh you know I, I did watch his Nest Quick review that was one of the ones that I think everybody wanted to do it's one of the things it's it's like if you're like a movie review podcast uh-huh. everyone wants you to review a terrible movie yeah it's like and, and he's super honest about it he goes look this like he he mixed the powder and stuff like Uh that he's like look this has like a lot of memories for me yeah so like i get it i get it but like if i'm being honest it's not that that, not that great right because he's had 1500 other ones yeah exactly um really excited to have i I appreciate him hopping on with us i i emailed him and he was fired up about hopping on Mm -hmm. and 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 by the way like his youtube channel does not have nearly enough subscribers no yeah y'all need to go subscribe to this because that's the other thing we were talking about like not only is it just cool content like it's from a person who does videos for a living. It's it is really well edited. So well shot, so well edited. It's genuinely intriguing. Like it's fun to watch. And, and they are. I'll say He's, this. He takes time and spins it on. Yes. It, you know. They're very easy watches. Yes. These are very. This is that. It's, it's really cool. So I, I hope you guys will go and check that out. It's, uh, it's a, I believe it's a fool's errand dot com. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the name of his uh, YouTube channel as well. So anyway, that's Perry James, uh, the world's foremost chocolate milk expert. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.